is a Texas garden in January and um, I wanted to enjoy the beauty of butterflies during the migration in October so I blew up some photographs I took of the monarch butterflies to remind me of their beauty all year long. <clears throat> the begonias are still blooming, the pansies are still brightly colored yellow. I trimmed the Plum Delight. We've had the Plum Delight for 30 years. I trimmed it um, because it was getting kind of big and it's kind of a good year to start trimming things because then it comes out in the spring. And uh, I put some pots underneath. And so it's a glorious day in January. Uh, because I'm covering my plants at night, they are still thriving. I still have the fennel. I have the broccoli that's growing. The Brussels sprouts, the green onion is huge. I'm thinking about trimming it tonight because we might get snow in a couple of days. A little bit concerned about my garden when it gets really cold temperatures. So far, the 30s, <clears throat> because I've covered it at night, the 30s is not really freezing the plants. Below 32 for several days will probably not be too good. I wanted to show you that my cauliflower is growing in the middle. It likes the constant temperature of 60 degrees, but because I cover it at night, it seems to uh, like the continual growth. The cauliflower plant originated in the island of Cyprus, which in the, is in the Mediterranean Sea. It's south of Turkey, and so it spread throughout Europe. Um, a lot of people are using cauliflower to as a substitute for rice. So it's a little bit of a difficult plant to grow because it likes consistency. So I'm hoping that it'll survive the really cold temperatures coming next week. So the eggplant is kind of barely hanging on. Love the kale. The kale is getting bigger and bigger. By the way, you can eat the leaves of the kale and the cauliflower plant and the broccoli. I'm still growing some radishes in here. You can see the radish right there growing. The leaves of the lettuce are huge. There's the Brussels sprout. Look how beautiful the cauliflower is. Like I said, you can eat the leaves. So it makes it a very versatile plant. Cauliflower can come in colors of um, orange and kind of a purple color. Surprise, the pepper plant is still hanging on. <clears throat> Here's another cauliflower. They seem to be kind of happy right now. I planted some mustard, which goes great in soup. Here's the Brussels sprout plant. I'm amazed that the pepper plant back here, the bell pepper has a bell pepper. Can't believe this is happening in January. There's another one over here. I actually have tomatoes on the vine over here. <laughs> So, um, this is how my Texas garden looks in January.